Welcome to Ruby Ka Territorial Space. We are about to dock with the Morning Star Space Station. Please return to your assigned space. Security locks will be engaged prior to gravity fall. Welcome to the Morning Star. In a short while, you will be ferried down to the surface of Ruby Ka, where a new life awaits you. Please proceed through the laboratories and create the identity you wish to take on. Good luck. Please select breed and gender. All right, hi everybody. Welcome to Let's Play Anarchy Online, a really old school MMO came out about 15 years ago, uh, still kicking around. Uh, this was developed by Funcom, um, a company that made a lot of really interesting games, uh, which I enjoyed a lot. Um, I played this game pretty much close to launch and for several years and then sort of stopped playing for a while. Um, anyways, I really enjoyed it and wanted to uh, I sort of re-explored a little bit and uh, and share it with you because uh, there isn't a lot of uh, of this game on YouTube that I've seen and so I thought maybe if some of you kind of came across it on Steam or something like that because it was recently put on Steam um, you know hopefully uh, this uh, this let's play might uh, guide you um, I'm gonna go through a bit of the character creation for the character we're gonna make here um, the, I'm going to skip ahead actually and go right to the classes and Please then we'll come back and appearance. change the appearance. Please select so, um, a profession. Yeah, Anarchy Online is a sci-fi based uh, MMO. Um, it came out, like I said, 15 years ago. Uh, this was like, people call this like the 1.5 generation of MMOs. So this was like after Ultima Online and EverQuest, um, but before like World of Warcraft, for example. Um, the uh, uh, You can play this game for free. Um, the base game and the first expansion, Notam Wars, uh, you can play for completely for free. And if you subscribe, you get access to all the other expansions, including the Shadowlands and the Alien Invasion stuff. Um, I'm currently subscribed, so that way I'll be able to show you all the content that there is. Um, so yeah, so uh, this game has 12 classes that you can choose from. Did I say 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 14. Yeah, uh, 14 classes that you can choose from. Um, what I would like to do with this Let's Play, um, you know, in a lot of MMOs I love to play all sorts of different classes, and each class here really has a, a special feel to it. Um, let me go through some of them just to uh, just so you have a rough idea. A uh, metaphysicist is a pet class. Um, the uh, adventurer is a sort of jack of all trades, a uh, healer and fighter class. Uh, the engineer is also a pet class, but with just one big pet, um, and is also very good at doing trade skills. Um, the soldier is like a standard DPS. Uh, the Keeper is a sort of tanky buffing class. The Shade is a, a very unique play style, um, high DPS but very fragile uh, with a lot of sort of stacking debuffs kind of class. The Fixer is a uh, range DPS class that has some heal over times and runs really fast. The Agent is very special. The Agent uh, can transform into any of the other classes and use almost all of their abilities um, and other than that is like a kind of glass cannon range dps the trader is range dps with the special ability to like drain skills from others and buff themselves your doctor is your standard uh, healer with uh, also some good damage over time uh, attacks the enforcer is your standard tank the bureaucrat is the is a pet class that is excellent at crowd control. You can uh, sort of mez and calm mobs and also charm them and take control of them. A martial artist is a sort of melee DPS class and the nanotechnician is a ranged DPS class. Um, I like many of these classes. Um, I used to play mostly an engineer and a doctor. Um, 
I really like a lot of them. Uh, what I thought would be interesting for this Let's Play would be to play an agent um, because then I could kind of show you a lot of things about all the other classes. Now, um, the thing about the agents is, honestly, they're, um, they're really rough to like play solo compared to some of the other classes. So, they're t so this is going to be a challenging uh, playthrough. Um, but that's what I like. I like to play games in a challenging way. Um, the other thing is, um, like all MMOs, but especially with old school MMOs, um, it can be really hard, or it's not hard to go at it solo, but if you have the support of others, or if you have like money basically from, I mean, in-game money from like alts or something like that, you can really transform your experience and make it a lot, uh, more easy to breeze through some of the content. And we'll explain a lot of that as we get going. Um, but for this let's play, I thought I'd try to go at it completely solo. Um, I won't. I will do my best to try to not transfer any money or any items whatsoever from my other characters. Um, partly to give you an experience of what it would be like if you were playing it um, alone. Although it's very easy to meet some people in game. Um, there are still some sort of big guilds around that you can join, and people will be generous. I'm not saying you should go and ask for money, but you know, you can make friends and people will help you out with old equipment and stuff like that. So we'll see if that happens. I'm gonna play this, I'm gonna see if I can play this completely solo, which is, and so the choice of agent is like a terrible choice, as you'll see soon, but it'll be fun. Um, okay, so before we choose the class, let's go back to the Please race, choose your uh, appearance. race selection. Please so select we've got uh, four races, we've got, male selected. thank you game. Um, so uh, this is a sci-fi future uh, where we are on a planet like 30,000 years in the future which has been colonized to mine this special material notum and that enables this amazing nanotechnology which is basically magic right um, so solitus is the basic standard human op effects female selected op effects is a more agile kind of human Nanomage male. Then selected. Nanomage is uh, uh, sort of a intelligence-based human, and Aatrox then selected. the Aatrox are the uh, tough brutes uh, of this world. Um, unfortunately, uh, by the way, if you're noticing that this is very dark, um, the lighting in this character selection is sort of randomly set, um, and so sometimes you get just shitty lighting, and so I'm sorry about that, but uh, don't worry, the game will be much brighter. Um, so for our character, we're going to go with Op Effects, Op Effects female selected. and I'll get into the, all the game mechanics. Um, you can make almost anything work. Um, there are interesting builds with all the characters. We're going to go Op Effects is a pretty standard choice for an agent. And also I think we can make kind of our Please character choose your appearance. look cool because they have some pretty cool like hairstyles. So amazing graphics, right? So this is uh, a very old game, um, fairly low poly. Um, I kind of like this one. Let's see if there's another good one. Um, this is using, um, so when you download Anarchy Online, there's like a beta client, which has sort of like better shadows that uses some slightly less ancient rendering technology, which is what I'm running on. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go with uh, that one. This one's good too, but I think this one, I don't know. Mm. So the thing is, you're always, you're looking at your character from the back most of the time. I'm not crazy about the orange lips here. I think the blue is a bit cooler. Um, sure, let's go for this one. Um, and I like to go with like a tiny character to run around. All right, so that's gonna be our looks. Please select a profession. Okay, agent. Um, agent selected. Wow, well, this zoom in is kind of weird. Um, yeah, I guess I should have clicked on these so you could see. Selected. So this is like what the metaphysicist pet uh, pets look like. You get several of them. Selected. Adventurers can um, uh, choose between melee or ranged, and they have uh, 
it can shape shift into into Engineer uh, interesting selected. Uh, creatures that give them buffs. Engineers have big robots. Soldier, Soldiers shoot guns. Select, they have swords. Shade. They have selected. daggers. Dixer, they have uh, machine guns. Traders. Well, you can't see anything. This is so dark. So I'm just gonna, you know, screw it. We're just gonna go right into it. Um, and we'll introduce Shade. this it's stuff selected. as we go along. Okay. Agent selected. Please name your character. Let's choose our name. Yeah, so it's too bad my random lighting wasn't very good. Um, okay, so as we uh, are about to get started here with our character, um, I should mention there are a few uh, resources that are really useful. I'm just going to let this music... Uh... So for an old game, the, the sound in this game I really think is amazing, and especially in the Shadowlands, which we'll visit. It just was a beautiful, it was a stunning game, and honestly I still think it, it holds up quite nicely. I mean the environments, obviously the characters, everything's pretty low, low polygon. Um, uh, all right, I'll talk about the resources as we as we go along. Um, let's uh, demystify what's going on here. Um, so obviously WASD. Um, okay, first things we are going to do is we're going to split these up. So I'm just going to rearrange my chat so they have a two chat windows. Obviously, you can customize this as you want. Um, so I can see what's going on in terms of combat, and so I can see what's going on in terms of chat. Um, here is the toolbar, right shift, one, two, three, four, whatever, to switch the toolbars. I'm going to take off all of this stuff, because we won't need it. Uh, you know, there are other hotkeys to do this. Start combat is by default Q. Um, you can get all this, I'm not going to bore you with a lot of details, a lot of hotkeys and stuff, you can find a lot of this information out uh, yourself. Um, so we don't need that. Now, here is a lot of buttons, a lot of stuff, which I encourage you to um, look at yourselves. But a lot of these um, buttons will open up a menu that slides on your right here. But you can also do it with control and number keys. So control one brings up uh, what you're wearing. This is like your character sheet, right? So right now we've got nothing, but see there's weapons, clothing, implants, and then this is cosmetic stuff, social. So often we're going to keep that open. Control 2 has actions. Almost always you, it's rare that you need to go get something here, but sometimes you do. So if you're looking for a button, it might be under actions. Knowledge is almost useless. Uh, missions is important. This is control four. Um, again, all these buttons are available by clicking somewhere here. Um, so we're going to keep missions open because and we'll just kind of put it somewhere I don't know, here for now. Uh, control five is a team. If you're teaming up with somebody, this is where the everybody's health bar will show up. Uh, six is the map, which is very important. Um, so we've got that up. Um, and let's see, what's control seven? I forget. Oh, that's your friends. Control eight is, these are the nano programs that you know, in other words, spells, right? So in this game, nano is equivalent to magic. So right now we haven't uploaded any programs, but this is where they would be. So usually you don't keep this up. You just go find it and drag it on your bar and then you use it from your bar. Uh, stats, if you need to know what your ratings are, your AC and all that stuff. And zero is important control zero. This is your NCU, so these are your buffs. And so I have eight NCUs worth that I can fill up, and currently I have no buffs. Red here is your hit points. This is your nano, which is like your mana, if you will. And that's what we need for now. So I for inventory, I'm just kind of just created this character, so I'm you know adjusting things to where I like to where I like to put them. Uh, we'll cover this a little bit. Um, I like to have this mostly open. Um, oh, there are a few things I'm still going to rearrange in my UI. And again, you guys can, you know, feel free to customize this as you will. So F1, I'm targeting myself. Notice how I moved this and it was hidden a little bit. So I'm going to 
move this over to the right. Uh, so that's my target, basically. Um, here, if I targeted a thing there, then an enemy target, you know, appears here. Um, okay, I'm going to go into F10. Uh, there's a few little controls that I want to adjust here. Um, first of all, key bindings. This is just a personal thing. So here you can customize, you know, everything you need to customize. I like to have uh, middle press for auto run. So where's that auto run? Middle press and then we'll delete this one. And then uh, in the GUI, uh, this controls all of you know what buttons appear. Um, show nano targets NCU. Show fight targets NCU. So this brings up basically these are the debuff bars, right? So NCU is are the buffs that are running, right? So if I'm fighting somebody, this bar, this box here on the left, fight target, will show me what nano programs are running in their NCU. In other words, what buffs I have going on them or debuffs, right? And then nano target would be if I was targeting somebody to heal them, for example, it would show up here. Okay, um, I think our UI is pretty much set up. So finally, uh, let's start explaining what's going on here. We've got, uh, this is us. Looking, looking cool. Um, we've got uh, health and nano rechargers. Let's put that. Oh. oh, sorry, it's been a while. Oh, I was trying to drag, but it's just click to pick it up. Uh, stims are first aid kits that you can use in combat. These will recharge these particular ones. Shift left click, get all the information will heal both mana, like both nano, nano, excuse me, and healing. These rechargers you can use between fights, um, but you cannot use them in combat. And there are many, many more stims and chargers in the game, but we won't worry about them yet. This is an NCU belt. Control one, let's bring up our, our, uh, our, our character sheet here, and let's see if we can equip it. By right clicking, it says no, we can't equip it. So, first of all, what does this do? It allows you to put NCU memory in the belt, which expands the number of buffs you can get, which is very important in this game. But notice when I right click it, it says your computer literacy is required to be at least 20. So, what can we do about that? Let's see. Where is it? Oh, characters, skills. This is your skill distribution page where you can assign your IP, which you get by leveling up, to different skills. We're going to go through this uh, a lot later. I'd like to sort of get playing, get going here with the gameplay. Um, this is obviously a very important part of the game. Uh, for now, we needed to increase our computer literacy, which was here. Um, can I get to 20? No, I can only get to 10. What am I to do? We have here a nano crystal composite utility expertise. Can we upload it? Yes, we can. It automatically opened up the programs. So I'm going to drag this into my bar. It automatically put it in the first slot, right? Which was slot one, but um, I don't want it there. So I'm going to bring it to slot to bar six. This is a buff. Shift left click. It will buff concealment, perception, break and entry, computer literacy, treatment, first aid, psychology by 20. And it takes four NCU. So it takes half of my current NCU capacity and it will buff ut some utility skills basically. All right, F1, let's cast this on me. Oh, we didn't see the super cool 15 year old uh, animations. Let's do it again. Nice. Okay, particle effects. So now I have the buff running. Now 
my computer literacy is 26 so I should be able to equip this belt and what you've just witnessed this is basically the core of anarchy online you get buffs and also you equip gear and items and implants that buff your stats and that allows you to equip better items um, okay what else do we have here we have a solar powered rifle let's equip that that's our gun um, notice that this gun all right we have some statistics here special snipe so agents typically use rifles rifles typically typically have a special attack which is snipe which uses aim shot but you have to be sneaking to use it so this is amazing in pvp it is pretty awful in pve which is what we're going to be doing mostly so again like i said choosing an agent for this let's play is a kind of a pretty silly choice but we'll make it work uh what else do we have we've got a backpack um, actually, we can wear this backpack and we'll increase our health a little bit. Uh, C says location back. So, sure, let's wear the backpack. Uh, there we go. We've got a little backpack here. Um, but also, we can literally store things in it, right? Which is nice. So, in case we need to store things, it'll be here. Uh, we've got pretty cool looking shades which are giving us uh, which would give us a bunch of AC so let's put the glasses on nice and we have a nano program detain suspect so let's look at this we need some nano skills to use it time space and psycho modifications which are here um, and we have enough so we could upload it it will cost some mana and then what it will do was is it will root the subject so agents have as a class their spells focus on immobilizing enemies and also a bit of damage over time um, so one of the things that you can do is root and shoot basically like you stay at range root them run away and try to shoot at them all right, that is pretty much all our basic equipment. Let's actually kill a monster. And then I think maybe uh, we'll stop the episode there. Um, so what are we doing in this game? We just landed on this landing pad. There's a question mark here, which is hopefully telling you to shift click. Oh, so it's giving you some information, right? For a new player, but there's a guy here in blue, so we should talk to him. And this is what a lot of the interaction is in the game with NPCs, right? You just chat and talk like this. So, uh, you know, you guys can pause and read through this. I've read through this many, many times. Um, but the thrust of this first mission is we are trying to get ourselves some official paper. We're basically illegal immigrants to this planet so we have to do a bunch of favors to a bunch of uh, we have to do some favors for a bunch of people um, in order to get ourselves some official ID uh, so this guy says gave us a mission the mission is to kill five malfunctioning cleaning robots all right there's one right here Q There we go. So you're thinking, well, that's easy. Well, sure it is, because, you know, we just started. Um, so I just right clicked to see if we could loot anything. We got some battered low tech armored shorts, which is some random armor. And an ancient looking lamp relay, no drop unique. So usually items like this would be part of a quest. So we don't know what this will be for, but let's hang on to it. Uh, all right, let's uh, finish our first quest here. Shot another guy. So basically the, I'm doing the equivalent of just auto attacks, right? Um, let's see if we can show off the uh, aim shot that I was talking about earlier. So first we need to sneak, which is H if I remember correctly. 
Yeah. Now, notice here it said a bunch of people have detected us because our sneaking is pretty bad. Uh, let's see if we've been detected. Yeah. So, our sneaking is so bad that we can't even sneak enough to shoot these people. See, they're all aware of our presence. So, that's why... Um, being an agent is a bit rough in the sense that, I mean, you don't have to use rifles, but agents are designed to use rifles, if you will. Um, and for rifles to be really effective, you want to use aim shot, and aim shot is just really hard to use in PvE. Uh, but you know, we'll, we'll make do with it. Uh, so let's uh, finish up this mission. Uh, I think I did finish it. No. I think one more. There we go. We heard the sound. Our mission is complete. Let's talk to Rex. Oh, Rex wants us to do something here. I've done what you asked. And this guy has sort of an interesting personality. Okay, we have completed our first mission. Um, we have almost gained a level. Um, and so I think we will stop here for our first episode of this Let's Play. Um, I'm going to go back and look at this recording and then, of course, realize that probably the quality was awful. But, you know, well, I promise to do what I can to improve it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, obviously, I'll try to answer a lot of uh, questions as I as I go through the episodes and introduce more parts of the game. But if there's anything you're not sure about, uh, please feel free to ask them and please leave any feedback. All right, I will see you next episode. Take care.